My name is Nadia. Four years ago, I uploaded a video on the Ed Meets Pro, and to my greatest surprise, it gained more than a million of views. Thank you so very much for that. I was very shocked and I was very pleasantly surprised. So now I think it's high time to explain where did I take the eggs. So a lot of you thought that the eggs were taken from humans, which is not the case. The eggs were taken from the sea urchins. Sea urchins are little animals that are very frequently used as an animal model for developmental biology. So we can look at the embryo of the sea urchin and extend our knowledge about what's happening when the embryo develops. So now the question is how do we get the eggs and how do we get the sperm? Just by looking at the animals, there is no way to tell who is a male and who is a female. The only way to tell who is a male and who is a female is to get them to release the eggs or sperm. So the way we do that is that we very simply shape them. We take an animal and we put them on the paper towel and then we just firmly hold them and shape. Maybe the animal thinks that uh, something is happening, that there is a big storm coming out and maybe they think that it's the last chance to reproduce. And as you all know, the main function of the living organism is reproduction. So after you shake the animal for some time, you would be able to see that some of them would release yellow eggs, those would be the females, and some of them would release white sperm, those would be the male. A little bit at first. Maybe it's not very noticeable now. Let me shake a little bit more. And now you can see this yellow eggs. And then you collect the eggs by placing the animal upside down in the beaker, just like that. And what I have here is just the sea water, just salty water. And you can see that the animal starts to drop eggs into the beaker. So that's how we get so many eggs. And one of the greatest advantages of the sea urchin as an animal model is that it's very easy to get the biological material. So you don't need to put the embryo back and you have millions of eggs at the same time. So that's how you get the eggs. Now you get the sperm absolutely the same way. That's how a male would look like. You can see this white thing, that's the sperm. And the way we collect that, we just take pipette and collect that from the back of the animal. What happens next is that you mix the sperm and the egg, and that's how you get what you saw on my previous video when the egg meets sperm. And I will explain you much more in details what exactly is happening on that video in my next video. Thank you very much for your attention.